We hear on the news daily that interest rates are rising and that they're going to continue to rise. So is it a good time to buy a house in the Seattle area? Guess what? You will always need a place to live. Rents historically just increase over time. And most people get tired of renting and want their own home. So is 2022 a good time to buy a house? Here is some food for thought. I'm going to let you decide. Your rent will go up over time. That $2,500 a month house right now will be $2,750 in no time at all, especially the way rents have been increasing lately. Depending on what kind of loan you get, a mortgage is fixed for 30 years. Now, if you get an adjustable rate mortgage, that is different, but most people get a 30 year fixed mortgage, and that means that your principal and interest payment will stay fixed for 30 years. So if rents double in 20 years, your mortgage, principal, and interest payment will still be the same as it is today. You are essentially locked into one rate. When you buy a home, you build equity. Home equity increases over time. Home values will increase and appreciate over time. And as you make each payment on your house, the principal amount that you owe on your mortgage will go down and you will gain equity. If you buy your home initially with less than 20% down payment, then once you hit 20% equity in your house, you can refinance it and take that PMI mortgage insurance off of your loan. It will usually save you a couple hundred dollars a month. There is an opportunity cost for waiting to buy a house. If you are waiting for interest rates to go down and prices to go down, it is the same as waiting for gas prices to go down. Now we hope that interest rates are gonna go down. We hope that home prices are going to go down. Well, some of us do unless you own a home already, and we hope that gas prices will go down. But we do not know if they will. But what if they don't? What if another year passes and interest rates increase 1% and home prices increase 5%? That $500,000 house you were gonna buy this year will now be $525,000 next year, and your payment will have risen $500 or so a month. That is exactly what happened to those people this time last year who decided to wait. Many real estate experts expect interest rates to go down once we hit the recession. We don't know if that will happen for sure, but if it does, interest rates may go down, but prices may still continue to increase. They do expect prices to increase and appreciate in Seattle over the next couple years still. I put together a report on nine buyer traps for buyers to watch out for when buying a home. If you would like a free copy of this, put a comment below that says traps, the word traps, and I will get that right over to you.